What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we're going all the way back to the beginning and drawing Pikachu from Pokemon. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw two small circles for the eyes. So we start on the left side from the very top, go all the way down towards the bottom of the eye and back up towards the top. Now we leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So it's line at the top of that circle, come all the way down towards the bottom and then back up. Let's draw a smaller circle on the top of each eye for the highlight. Come all the way down towards the bottom and back up. And we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Now we're going to line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw a small oval for the nose, and then fill that in black. And then from the bottom of the nose, we'll step down, curve the mouth coming down, and then up towards the left, go back to the center, come down, and then up on the right. Now let's open up the mouth. Starting on the left, we're gonna step in, curve this down and in, round out the bottom, go out and up on the right. Now we're gonna go back up and draw the top edge of the tongue. Starting on the left, curve this up, and bend that back down. Now that we've drawn the face, let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the bottom edge of the left eye, we're going to step out, and curve out the cheek, going out, down, and just bend that in. Just line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going out, down, and bending that in. Now let's add in the cheeks. We're going to start on the left side, we're going to draw an oval. Going up, down on the inside, Bending that back out and up. Let's line this up on the right. Now we're gonna work our way up towards the top of the head. Let's start from the left side, curve this up, and bend that in. Go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Go up and in. Now we're gonna leave a gap on either side and draw the top of the head. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve the head going up, and then bending that down. Let's tuck the ears behind the head. On the left side, we're gonna step down, curve the ear going out, up, and then in towards the top. And then from the top, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, coming in, and then down. Now the ear on the right is gonna be pointing out towards the side. So starting from the top, let's step up, curve the ear going up, and then bending that down. Curve the ear coming down and back in towards the side of the head. Now we're going to separate the tip of the ears. Starting from the inside of the left ear, curve this out and then down. Go to the top of the right ear, curve down and then in. Let's fill the tips of each ear. Now with the head in place, let's draw the arm stretched out towards the side. We're going to start from the left cheek, curve the arm going up and bending that out. Go over towards the right, going up and out. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw the thumb. Go straight up with a short line, curve this out and down. Now I'm going to layer the fingers in behind the palm, starting from the side. Angle up and out, and down and in to create a point. Let's add two more. Going up and in, going straight out, and then back in towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to bring the arms coming back down and in towards the side of the body. Let's start from the left side. Curve the arm coming down, and then bending that in. Go over towards the right, come down, and bend that in. Now we want to tuck the left side of the body in behind the arm. So starting right here, step up, curve the body coming down, and then out. 
We'll round up the leg, come in towards the bottom. We're going to work our way back towards the center of the body. Come in and then up. And we'll just flatten this off going out towards the right. Now the body on the right is going to overlap the arm. So starting here, we're going to step up for the body coming down and then out. We're going to round up the leg, coming down and in towards the bottom. And we'll tuck this leg underneath in the middle. Rounding this out and then pulling that across. And now we're going to tuck the feet in underneath the legs. Starting on the left side, curl the foot going out and then down. Round up the tip of the foot, come in and up underneath the body. Let's take that foot and flip it over on the right. Going out and then down. Round up the tip of the foot, come in and bend that back up. Let's separate the toes with two curves on either side. Starting on the left, go up and in, step in and draw that twice. And now we're going to move over towards the left side and add the tail. Let's start on top of the leg, draw a short line going up, angles down and out, and then we'll pull this back up. Let's add another point, coming down and out, go straight up towards the top of the slightly longer line. Now the tail's going to curve out and then down towards the end. Let's round up the side of the tail, going out and all the way up towards the top. Now you want to follow that same curve along the top, going up and then in. Now we're to work our way along the inside of the tail, coming back in towards the body. Starting from the top, straight down to right about there, and it up and in towards the arm. Straight down, go up and in behind the body. Now we're going to separate the bottom of the tail with a zigzag pattern. Starting from this point, come down and up. Just add a couple more points, coming towards the inside of the tail. And that's pretty much it. There's Pikachu from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.